Hi everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, I will discuss more about Python, that is global and local variables in Python. So what's all about global variables? Global variables are the ones that are defined and declared outside a function and we need to use them inside a function. Let's clear with an example. So let's move to the Geeks for Geeks IDE. In this example, first s is defined as this and function is called and inside the function print s statement is there. Let's run this code. From this output we can conclude that the printed statement is printing s value which is defined outside the function f which is nothing but a global variable. So always global variables are declared outside the function you can use them inside the function now let's move to the another code in geeks for geeks id here s is defined as this and then function is called and inside the function s is redefined as this the print statement is there then after f call again one print statement is there Let's run this code. Now from the output we can conclude that first it prints the variable which is defined inside the function and after the function call when it prints another value which is assigned to first before the function call. So in inside the function when it declared the same variable as is nothing but a local variable. What if we change the value of s inside the function? f will it affect the global s let's see let's move to the code here in this example first the variable s is declared then function call inside the function call first print a statement is there now after print a statement s is redefined with another value then another print statement is there now after function call there is another printed statement now let's run this god this is showing error in this case since s is redefined after print statement python assumes a local variable due to the assignment to s inside the function f so the first print statement throws this error message to tell python we have to use global variable that means we need to use keyword global now let's modify this code and try to run this code so let's see so this code successfully runs we conclude that the keyword global is required to make the above program work so this is the end for this video thank you for watching please leave us your likes and comments in the comment section